yeasts are applied to make many products such as bread, beer, and wine for thousands of years. But, do you know what yeast can do other than these? Hi, I am Professor Lim. Today, I will introduce you to Yeast an incredible guy. Yeast is one type of microorganism that belongs to the family of Saccharomycetaceae under the fungus kingdom. It is a single cell organism, which needs food, warmth, and moisture to thrive. It converts its food sugar and starch through fermentation into carbon dioxide and water. It's the carbon dioxide that makes the dough to rise. Now, let's look into the structure of the yeast. Yeast contains almost the same organelles of a mature eukaryotic cell, which includes cell wall, cell membrane, mitochondrion, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, cytoplasm and vacuole. It is composed of 49% protein, 40% carbohydrates, 9% minerals and 4% lipid. Most yeast reproduce asexually by budding, where a small bud is formed on the parent cell. The nucleus of the parent cell splits into a daughter nucleus, and migrates into the daughter cell. The daughter cell is then enlarged, and detached from the parent cell. Yeast extracts consist of the cell contents of yeast without the cell walls. In the 19th century, Professor von Liebig discovered that yeast has a new potential, which is to substitute the taste of meat in a dish. Then, yeast extract started to be used, as an aromatic base to improve the flavors of soups, sauces and broths. Let's see how the process of manufacturing yeast extract. The process can be divided into three main stages, fermentation, breakage, and separation. First, let's look into the fermentation stage. Fermentation is a process where microorganisms break down a substance from complex to simpler. Just like humans, when we consume food, we will gain something like nutrients and energy for our growth. Same goes to microorganisms. Microorganism requires food, which is known as substrate for their growth and production. Here, fermentation is conducted so that a certain amount of final product, which is yeast extract can be obtained. Specific strain of yeast is selected to carry out the fermentation. Fermentation is carried out in a device called fermenter. It is used to control and maintain the suitable condition of the process. This is important for the efficient growth of yeast cells. At this stage, the number of yeast cells is increased. Hey, little yeasty. Why are you unhappy? Hmm? This is not an optimum condition for me. So, what do you need? I need food. Provide me with glucose source please. Besides, please maintain the fermentation environment at 30 degrees Celsius. And I need oxygen supply as well. Okay. Here you are. Yay. Thank you. Fermented yeast is then separated from the liquid medium, using centrifugation. Wait, centrifugation? What is that? Centrifugation is a process, that separate a mixture through spinning. Heavier materials will be at bottom, while lighter one will be at upper layer. Oh, I see. Thus, as yeast cells are heavier, they will be pelleted at bottom and collected. Yeast cream is obtained. Then, it is proceeded to the next stage, breakage. Yeast cream is cooled down to stop multiplication of yeast population. Then it is placed in a fermenter, at temperature around 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. Enzymes that naturally occur in yeast will break down proteins and other macromolecules into smaller molecules. Cell wall also disintegrates during this stage, 
After breakage, the final stage in production of yeast extract is separation. At this stage, cell walls are separated from other components and disposed. The products left is what we want, yeast extract. Then, excess water is evaporated and the product is concentrated. Hence, paste form of yeast extract is obtained. Yeast extract is added in everyday consumer products in the food industry as a flavoring agent. Its taste is beloved in foods all over the world. It provides richer taste to the food. And it is 100% natural and vegan. It is now commonly used in modern cuisine particularly in vegan, vegetarian or low salt cooking. Its characteristic taste is called umami. Umami is the fifth taste detected by tongue. It is one of the core fifth tastes including sweet, sour, bitter, and salty. Basically, umami is the taste of amino acid, L-glutamate, and five ribonucleotides such as guanosine monophosphate GMP and inosine monophosphate IMP. Due to the similar amino acid combination, umami taste is very similar to meat broth. Amino acid is the basic structure that makes up protein, and they occur in many foods like tomatoes, mushrooms and parmesan cheese. Due to its savory taste, yeast extract had been employed as a food ingredient. Yeast extract is included into the bouillon cube and sold worldwide for seasoning dishes. Nowadays, consumers are more aware of the food they eat as the disease such as obesity, hypertension, and diabetes are strongly influenced by their eating habits. Low salt, sugar and fat in food are becoming their major concern. Thus, improvement of food formulation but not compromising the taste is a big issue for food manufacturers. But, how? Thanks to the natural savory taste of yeast extract, it enables the manufacturers to reduce up to 30% of sodium content in the food, and increase the salt perception at the same time. Besides that yeast extract is also reducing sugar content in food. These flavors allow food manufacturers to develop tasteful products, while reducing up to 30% sugar and maintain the overall taste balance of the food. Other than the food industry, yeast extract is also applied to skincare products, as a natural ingredient for certain purposes such as antioxidizing, moisturizing and anti-irritating. Ha! Next time don't be freaked out, if you saw me on products ingredient label. This is Professor Lim. And Yeasty. Here comes to the end of this video. Yeast, an incredible guy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. bye. If you like our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.